Hey guys, this is Bob Productions, and welcome to another episode of Pokemon Omega Ruby. In the last episode, we went through the Weather Institute, and we took down Team Magma, got a cast form, faced our rival May, and explored Fortree City, and I also attempted to find a Leaf Stone, in which I was a complete idiot, because I completely went past it. Yeah, I was like, oh, there has to be one down here. Oh yeah, there was one, right down here, right there. Yeah, I completely screwed that up. Well, whatever, at least we have it now, and I don't have to waste a heart scale on Nuzleaf when it's higher than level 44. So, whatever, I'm happy, I'll take it. So, let's give the Leaf Stone to Pinocchio, and we will call it good. What? Pinocchio is evolving! Alright, we got ourselves a Shiftry. Okay, so... Yeah, level 44 is going to be learning a real powerful move, which is the uh, Leaf Storm. And by the way, let's go and teach a uh, Fly to Flying Too High here before I forget. I was actually just thinking about that, just randomly. So, let's just do that quickly. Um, what we'll do is we'll get rid of Steel... Mmm... I kind of want Steel Wing for coverage, but yet again, I got Dragon Pulse. Yeah, I'll get rid of Steel Wing. That's fine. But, yeah, I can't believe I just couldn't find that earlier. I was like, oh, it has to be somewhere. I remember seeing it. Yeah, first time I go back down here right after the episode. Hey, look, there it is. Oh, oh well. So, yeah, anyways, in this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to Route 120 because Steven's like, oh, there's certain Pokemon on Route 120. So yes, he'll give us something that will get us to the gym, because there's a little thing blocking the way, which I didn't show off. But, it'll look like we'll show it off when we get the item that we need to get past it. So, anyways, that'd be awesome if we can get to 10 likes. And, yeah, anyways, let's just keep going. Um, if there's any, if you, that'd be awesome if you hit a like if you enjoy it. If not, uh, please explain why down in the comments below, and yeah. Let's head down to Route 120. And let's try out our new Pinocchio, actually. And also, let's just check out its stats. Look at that. 116 attack. There's none of our Pokemon at this point. Okay, Makuhita has 143 attack. That's the only Pokemon. Oh, I guess uh, Swampert has it, too. Okay, all of our physical attackers do have... Uh, 100... Um, yeah... Wow, 100 over 100 attack, that's pretty impressive. But, all right, well, I was trying to give it a little much, a little too much credit there. Oh, well. Anyway, let's go on Route 120. And I love this theme so much. This soundtrack for this game is absolutely incredible. I was, I mean, I was looking forward to the soundtrack before this game came out. I'm thinking, yeah, that's going to be good. It's going to be one of the best of all time. But, no, this is my number one favorite uh, soundtrack now. It's just... They added, just, they improved so many themes. Of course, people would be like, oh, it's, uh, there's, there's flaws. Yeah, there are flaws. And, yeah, I forgot to switch in, um, Pinocchio, but that's okay. But, yeah, there's like, yeah, there are some flaws with some of the themes, but it's still really good. And Robust Frogs level 43. Um, uh, one theme that you'll be able to experience once I get to the Delta episode. Holy cow, that is such a great theme. It's one that wasn't in the original games. It's a new trainer. And it was, her theme is really, really nice. I've, I really enjoyed it. I mean, when I was going through it, I'm like, wow, this is just epic. But, yeah. Can't wait until when that happens, because, yeah, Delta episode was definitely very fun. So, yes, that is it. We defeat Clarissa. A Parasol can't ward off Pokemon attacks. No, it cannot. But that is okay. So, anyways, let's put Pinocchio up top. And you're probably wondering, where's my last team member? It is going to be on my team, but it's going to be a little bit farther. And it's towards the next city where I get my last team member. It's going to be a Pokemon that I really want to uh, have a challenge for. And, I mean, it is a, it was a good Pokemon in Gen 1, that is a clue. Uh, but, because of the special split from... Uh, the, from uh, all right, here's the item. Let me get a rare candy, but because of the special split in Gen 2, it became one of a weaker, quite weak Pokemon, so 
I mean, it really, it was unfortunate that they, uh, definitely did that. And what the heck? There's a hidden, there's a hidden item. Let's see. Is that right there? No. Oh, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Oh, it's right here. Okay, revive. All right, that's pretty nice. Okay, look. Oh, look who's here. Oh, you're Michael. Hi, Dream Bros from last time. Can you show us how much stronger you become? Okay, Q interview. All right, here we go. Gabby and Ty. So this is the third and last time we'll see them. Or at least in this uh, storyline. Because, I mean, you can always go back to uh, Mauville to face them. You can always go back to that beach. And then you can also come back and face them here. But, I mean, I'm only going to be showing them off once. Uh, this last time. I'm not going to be going through over and over again. Unless they changed it. I'm not... I mean, that's what, how they had it in the original games. I'm not sure if they just keep looping where their location is um, in this game, like in Ruby and Sapphire. Hopefully they do, because, I mean, I they kind of bring back nostalgia for me, because I used to face them all the time. And then just say quirky things. So let's see. Muddy Water should finish off this Magneton. And there we go. That was good. And that is it for Gabby and Ty. Okay. Robust Frog. Do you want to give a last interview? Ah, fine. Um, let's see, what am I going to think of? Um, what's another... Okay, another thing that... Um, a text that you enter here may be sent to others through various communication features. I didn't even notice that. Um, yeah, let's just keep it the same. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the MVP right there. So yeah, keep an eye for me. Thank you very much, but I really don't need you. So, oh, wild encounter. I forgot to put up a repel. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. And Atropius. All right. Now, Atropius is a unique Pokemon. It... I forgot what its ability is, but it had to do with recycling berries. That's the Dream World ability for it. And I've seen a lot of people use this in competitive battling, just so it can recycle its berries. And it's quite its quite an interesting set how they used it, too. But anyways, looks like here's a bird trainer up here. So let's go with flying too high here. So it'll be a bird dragon versus other birds. And I'm pretty sure this guy only has a swallow, so that should be quick and easy. My Pokemon is strong. How about your Pokemon? Oh, there's there's something. No, they're way stronger than yours. So yeah, Robert. Oh, he has a Swablu. I remember him having to swallow. Ah, whatever. So now it's time for the father versus the son. All right. Well, it's time to show him what. Oh, well, he's not really our son. Well, at least our Altarius son. But let's just make it sound like that. Dragon Pulse. Oh, took that real well. Take down. That didn't do much. But then it had recoil. <laughs> that sucked. Oh, uh, let's see. At least for them. Aerial Ace should finish off the Swablu here. And, alright, there we go. We defeat Robert. You and your Pokemon were stronger. Okay, so before we get moving on here, I want to put Megatron up top. Just because a little thing's going to happen here with Steven. Because Steven's right on the bridge right here. And we're going to be going to get this item. This item triggers something that's interesting. And it gives you, it triggers a Pokemon. Now, I'm not, I'll explain it when we get to that point. But, hmm. Michael, so we meet again. How's it been? Have you been, have you been using the Mega Bracelet wisely? Yes. I suppose I need even ask, though. Not when it comes to you and your team. I wonder, have you noticed that there's some things that you can't see? Now, if I were to use this device on an obstacle, invis invisible obstacle... No, no, rather than describing it, I'll just show it to you. This should be more entertaining. What? Michael, you are a Pokemon ready for battle? Yes, it is. Okay, good. In that case, I want you to take this. Try it on. I'll sure it'll fit you. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, we got a big... Uh, yeah, we got the Devon scope. But it's like... That's quite interesting there. It's like X-ray vision. Anyways, the Star Pokemon attack. This is Kecleon. Kecleon is an interesting Pokemon. It is a normal type, but it has the ability Color Change, which means when it gets hit by one move, it'll change to that type. So, the thing is about this Pokemon, I would recommend catching it. I mean, it's not a Pokemon that you would use on your team, but they are really rare Pokemon. And there's a couple places where you can catch a Kecleon, but 
The problem is, is that if you don't catch it then, there's... I, re I remember in the old games, it was like a 1% chance of finding it later in the grass. And it really isn't worth spending all that time to catch a Kecleon, which you won't even use if you want to complete the Pokedex. And it's really... It's just better off if you just catch it right here when they give you one for free. I mean, there are a couple you can face uh, right from the get-go there. And Holdback did absolutely nothing. So let's see, Slash did 10 damage. Um, I really don't want to risk taking it down, though. Let's go for a Bullet Punch. That should not take it down. Yeah, look at that. Okay, Color Change made a Steel-type. See right there. That is uh, ridiculous. I'll say that right there. Now, since it's a steel type, oh, should I go for Zen Headbutt? Why not? Oh, I killed it. Dang it. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. But anyways, my key grew level 45. Don't worry, there are some other places, like I just killed it there. I was just trying to see if I could weaken it down a little more before hold back, but that's okay. So now we get the Devon Scope. So now we can get to the gym, because yes, there are Kecleon blocking the gym. And he gave us the Swampert Ite. Look at that. So now we can get a Mega Swampert. So it looks like that Mystic Water isn't going to have too much of a use. But that's okay. So let's meet again someday. Okay, yeah, we'll meet up. Yeah, we'll meet up sometime. Okay, so I didn't really get to use my Mystic Water too much. But that's okay. We'll just uh, give it to uh, Robust Frog here. So now, I'll go over another place where you can get a Kecleon. So, let's just head over there right now. First, let's put a Repel up. Oh, no, not save. I didn't notice that it was in, on the bag already. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, Super Repel. Let's just use one quickly. And, alright, so there is one more area where we can get Kecleon, and that is right here. So now, as you can tell, actually, I think there's one that blocks somewhere. I was pretty sure there was one that blocks it. Oh, right here. Yeah, that's right. You can go through here, but because they had to expand the thing, it's kind of hard to notice where this Kecleon is. So if you go right here, there's an invisible obstacle. Let's use the Devon Scope. And here is the Kecleon. So this one will like to battle us. So let's do that quickly. So let's, there's, I think there's one more you can find with the Devon Scope. But this is, I don't think I'm going to go find it unless I accidentally kill this one too. I doubt it though. I'll use, let's just use Bullet Punch a couple times, even though it does get resistant later, that's fine. Camouflage, okay, that's another thing, I'll change its type with Camouflage too. So that's actually real nice, because, yeah, now I can just use Bullet Punch again. Hopefully I do not get a crit, that would be really unfortunate. Okay, nope, perfect range. It's gonna go for Psy Beam, which we're quad resistant, so that should, yeah, look at that, only two damage. I could use hold back to bring it down to 1 HP, but I don't think that's necessary. The catch rate is pretty high, so it is a little bit harder to catch a Kecleon, so let's go for a Great Ball here. But we should catch it. One. Two. Three. And we caught it. Alright. Kecleon was caught. So now we have one of our own, so that's okay. So yeah, like, you, like I said, if you miss the other one up on that bridge, you can always get one down here. So, alright, that's fine. We'll just not nickname it. It's just going to be put in the box, because I'm not going to use it at all. So, anyways, you can pick up an item here, and that is a nest ball. Now, nest ball is quite interesting, because when you buy... Okay, you can get these nest balls, and the, the ball gets stronger as your Pokemon is stronger than the opponent. So let's say your Pokemon's level 1... Let's say, yeah, it's level 100. If you're going against a level 1 then the catch rate's going to be ridiculously high. Let's see, wait. Come on. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, it's right there. Okay. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Uh, I had to stop, because I had to think there. But, um, yeah, if you just... Uh, let's say you're, a Pokemon is higher level than you, then it really has no value whatsoever. So you have to really, let's say, be over-leveled in order to use this thing. I mean, even if you're 20 levels higher than the Pokemon you're trying to catch, if it's like a Legendary, it's still not that great of a ball. So, I mean, it's a it's a really weak ball that you really don't need. So, anyways, look, there's an Invisible Obstacle in your way. Would you like to use the Devon Scope? Sure. 
So yes, there's going to be a Kecleon here, but it does not fight you. All it does is flee. So that is it. But before we end off the episode, I'm going to be... I'll wait. I'll have the gym wait for the next episode. But if you go over here, we get TM86 Grass Knot, which is a very good move for Pinocchio, but I don't know if I'll teach it that yet. Um, I guess it could be temporary. Mm, I mean, Grass Knot is stronger when the, the opponent is heavy. That If it's a Pokemon that's light, it's not really too powerful. So let's say I went, went on against an Onix. I mean, it would be really powerful but yet again even if you used any other grass move it would still do the same amount of damage basically because it does have sturdy at least a lot of rock pokemon have sturdy nowadays but i mean it's it's a good move i mean there's some pokemon that need a grass move and a lot of people in competitive battling have a few pokemon that use grass knot so i mean it's not that bad of a move but i'm gonna end off the episode here so the next episode we're gonna be taking on four tree city gym so if you enjoyed this episode please leave a like to your account subscribe jump your inbox and see you guys next time